Microsoft Teams is a centralized communication hub that allows you to collaborate efficiently and securely. It can be used to co-author documents in real time, share files with team members, host internal meetings with anyone around the world, and work with a large selection of Office 365 and third-party applications. In this video, we'll go over some of the best Microsoft Teams features and tools at your disposal to help increase productivity during your workday. Microsoft Teams has a list of commands to save time and increase efficiency. Commands allow you to carry out specific actions without having to navigate through the application. Here are some of the most useful shortcuts and commands in Microsoft Teams. Now, I've received a message from Michael. Don't forget our basketball game against the warehouse workers next week. The first shortcut that we'll be using are the Control E buttons. Control E will bring your cursor to the search bar regardless of where you are within the Teams environment. You can type the at symbol, then the person's name, and then the tab button to send them an instant message without having to leave your current view and having to navigate to the chats tab. I'm going to send Michael a response now. As you can see, my message was sent to Michael without me having to leave my current view. Let's navigate to the command bar and look at some of the other tools at our disposal. Type the forward slash button and you will get a list of actions that you can carry out right from the command bar. You can update your account status by typing the forward slash and then your status. For example, if I want my coworkers to know that I'm busy working on something and don't want to be distracted, I can change my status by typing the forward slash button and then typing busy and pressing enter. As a manager, you might also want to see the activity of your employees. Select or type forward slash activity. Press tab and then select the user whose recent activity you want to see. I'm going to take a look at what Michael's been up to. And now, I'm able to view all of Michael's recent activity in our company's Microsoft Teams environment. Another very useful shortcut is the ability to navigate through all the tabs in the left-hand menu by using only your keyboard. You can use Control-1 for Activity, Control-2 for Chat, Control-3 for Teams, Control-4 for Calls, and Control-5 for Files. You can also quickly switch between channels by typing the forward slash, go to, then pressing tab key and selecting the channel you want to go to. I'm now going to create a new chat for the members of our office basketball team. To start a new chat, press Ctrl N. This will open up a new chat window. Now you can invite people to the chat and send them a message. These are some of the basic shortcuts and commands to get you started. For a full list of functions at your disposal, visit the Microsoft Teams website. Teams allows you to create private channels to help you manage your confidential documents or private topics within your workspace. When creating the channel, you have the option of changing the channel privacy from standard to private. Now, enter the name of all the users you want to give access to the channel. Just remember that a user must be part of a team to have access to a private channel within it. You can also assign the user's role at this stage. As you can see, the channel has now been added to the workspace, but there's a lock beside the channel's name. Only members of the private channel will know of its existence and be able to see it. More importantly, a separate SharePoint location will be created for the private channel documents only accessible to the members of the private channel. 
We've already went over a couple of ways, such as the use of app mentions to make sure relevant information is read by your coworkers. In Microsoft Teams, you can also create an announcement to keep your team members updated on important information. So let's set up an announcement for the upcoming basketball game between the office workers and the warehouse crew. To create an announcement, select the format button and use this drop down to change the post from a standard conversation into an announcement. Now we can give our announcement and title. You can also change the background color of the announcement header or upload your own header image. Let's go ahead and change the header background image. I'm also going to give our announcement a subheader. Now let's type out the body text of our announcement. Once you finish with your announcement message, you have a few more formatting options before posting it. You can control who can reply to your announcement from this drop down menu. I'm going to restrict the replies to our announcement. You can also post the announcement on multiple channels by selecting the channels that you like to post to. For now, I'm going to leave that as it is. We're pretty much done, so I'm going to post our announcement. Now, all the members of the company's initiatives team should be able to see our announcement. There are certain times where it's imperative for us to be aware of all communications within our work groups. To ensure you never miss a post within a specific channel or team, hover over the important channel in the team's view and click on the ellipsis. The ellipsis is the button with the three dots. Select the channel notifications. Click on the drop down menu in the all new post section to manage how you would like to be notified. Banner notification is a rectangular pop-up that will appear on the bottom right of your screen. A feed notification is basically an alert that is displayed in the application's activity tab. The include all replies checkbox can be used to receive notifications on the replies your team members leave on the post within the channel. This menu can also be used to turn off notifications for the channels you don't want constant updates on. I know a couple of coworkers who've asked me how to turn off channel notifications after being bombarded with alerts. Connectors can help you remain up to date by giving you access to content from applications you use frequently. This includes services such as Facebook, Jira, and Twitter. Connectors will help stream this information into your team channels and populate it into the Conversations tab. You might be using Teams differently than your coworkers or members of other companies that you are in communication with. Teams allows us to customize our work environment to suit our individual needs. For example, in the left navigation menu, users have the ability to pin and unpin tabs you want to access. By clicking on the ellipsis, you can select an app and pin it to the navigation bar. You can also click and drag tabs to change their position to best suit your needs. To remove a tab, simply right click and unpin it. When you have a group chat, you can give it a title to make it easier to find in the future. Click the pencil beside the chat member's name and give the chat a title. The chat will now be searchable within Teams. You can also pin a chat to the top of your chat list for easier access in the future. You can pin important channels to the top of the Teams view by hovering over the channel Clicking on the ellipsis and selecting pin. The channel will now appear separately as a pinned item in the teams view. Below the channel name, you can see which team or department the channel belongs to. In each channel, you can also customize your workspace by adding additional applications to improve your team's chances of success. You can incorporate Microsoft applications such as OneNote, Word, or Planner. You can also add third-party applications such as Agile Poly.
Messages in Teams chats are auto-saved in succession over a period of time. In Teams, you have the ability to save important items from posts, chats, and conversations. When you have a post or message that you want to mark, hover over it and press the flag button. When you want to view this message, navigate to your profile icon and select Saved. This will bring up a listing of all your saved items. These are some of the best features of Microsoft Teams for collaborating and working more efficiently with your coworkers. I hope this tutorial helps improve your business communications. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. In the next video, I'll be continuing on from where we left off and go over some of the best features, customizations, and shortcuts within Microsoft Teams. I've also added a link to a Microsoft Teams tutorial in the description for future reference. Please like this video if you found it to be helpful, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.